<laughs> Shut up. ABV stands for alcohol by volume. For example, a one liter bottle will show 40% ABV on the bottle, which, which actually means the bottle consists of 40% of alcohol, the rest can be water. Now, why is the alcohol by volume important for you to know? One, because you're supposed to know how hard the alcohol is going to hit you. Second, if it's mixable or not. Now, what I personally suggest is the perfect hockey gear is this a peg measure also called the jigger this is actually your best friend while you make a good drink why because you're supposed to measure it now with us indians we have an habit of pouring the spirit straight from the bottle inside the glass but with this gear it gives you an opportunity to, to sit down for a longer run While you're drinking, don't focus on oily and fatty food. That's actually the enemy of alcohol. But I know it sounds delicious. Do you know there's a reason why all the bars have salted peanuts as a snack? Why? Because it makes you more thirsty and you, and you end up, uh, you know, ordering more alcohol. What you can focus on is, you know, have grilled chicken, maybe some grilled vegetables, some boiled eggs, have some peanuts, but not salted. With all that fatty food and rich oily food around, this will, you know, make you feel more bloated and put more pressure on the liver and that's, that's that's how your alcohol will not break down and we all know the next stage is getting intoxicated. What is actually suggested is to focus on carbs, proteins and a bit of roughages. Why? Because that actually helps down break the alcohol and helps you be in your senses for a longer time. Next point now for you to have a better experience is stay hydrated. Remember what I personally suggest is to have the equal number of glasses for the, the equal number of drinks that you had. For example, if I had three drinks in, uh, in the evening, I should have at least three glasses of water alongside. This will actually help you to not get dehydrated and actually enjoy the in entire experience. Now let's break a myth. Does mixing drinks get you drunk quicker? Well, the answer is no. It does not get you drunk quicker. It is the blood alcohol content level that determines how drunk you are. Mixing drinks does only upsets your stomach and makes you feel more sicker and not more intoxicated. What I personally suggest, it's okay to mix drinks only if you're drinking responsibly. Now let's assume you've had a bad hangover. Now what to eat? Of course it is suggested everybody knows the, the natural remedy which is lemon. Now what you can also have is bananas, uh, papaya is great, oats, juices, something which is rich in vitamin C and also carbs. Focus on, on carbs because they give you instant energy. Now for a lot of people they also think coffee can actually help them you know get away from, from hangover but that is actually not the case. Coffee actually dehydrates your body and you should actually stay away from it after you had a heavy drinking night.